quadratic function problem one. In the quadratic function, q of x is equal to negative 0.3x squared plus 8x plus 7. Q of X could measure the approximate sales of a new product in the X week since the product was introduced. Plot the point for every five weeks from X is equal to zero to 30 and graph function Q. Which way is the concave side of the graph oriented, upward or downward? What feature does the quadratic function graph have? that neither the exponential function graph in problem 1 nor the power function graph in problem 2 has. So we have to single out every individual questions. So the first question that is being asked is to plot the, the points for every 5 weeks from x is equal to 0 through 30. We just have to create a table. And uh, let us create a table. Okay. So we create uh, the vertical line dividing the x and y. And uh, what else? We have to create specific uh, table grids for every x at the scale of 5 units. So let's say this is my x. This is my x. And this is my y. Okay, my x is for every 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So up to 30 only. And what is my x? Or rather my y for this every x here. So let us have the calculator again. Okay. So Q of X is equal to negative 0.3X squared plus 8X plus 7. So that will give us negative 0.3 times 5 squared, so 25 times um, 0.3 is equal to negative 7.5. Negative 7.5. This is negative, so negative 7. Okay. 7.5, it doesn't have the scientific uh, notation. And 8x, so 8 times 5 is equal to, oh, by the way, we forgot the y is equal to 0, so we have to uh, include that. Okay, let's erase the whole thing here. Let's include our x is equal to 0, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So now I've completed the table. So uh, you could actually use your calculator in here. Uh, we have our calculator input here. But for, uh, for individual uh, Comfortability, okay, for individ individual comfort, you could use the scientific calculator. As of now, we don't have the uh, the scientific calculator for the better computing of these tables. But then you could use your own calculator to have your y values. So I've set the tables for x and y now from x is equal to 0 to uh, 30. And our y values becomes for x is equal to 0, it becomes 7. So let us let us uh, say that each grid for y values and for x values are each 5 units. So if it's 0, it's 7. So the point is somewhere above the, the 5 here. 
If our x is equal to 5, it's 39.5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, 40. So 39.5. So it should be, let us have the help of the read. So 5, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 35, 40, so it should be here. So it's here. And if x is equal to 10, then it's 57. For y, 40, 45, 50. So it should be, uh, what is this? 40, 45, 50. 55, 60. So it should be here. And uh, we're reaching our maximum point at x is equal to 15. So at x is equal to 15, our y is equal to 59.5. So let's say it's here. OK. And if our x is equal to 20, it's 47. So this is 39. Uh, 40, 45. So it should be somewhere here. OK. And if uh, our x is 25, our y is 19.5. So 19.5, 5, 10, 15, 20. So it should be uh, here. OK. And if x is equal to 30, then our y is equal to negative 23. So it goes down. Let's just say 5, 10. So it, it, it's uh, somewhere uh, here, let's say. OK. Now let's take off the grids. And let's connect the dots. So we have the dots here. And connecting the dots gives us, this is so thick. Will give us a value that is, or a graph that, a curve that looks like, that looks like this. And this one, goes through here. Okay. But uh, our x is from 0 to 5 only, so we just do it like that. Okay. Now we can answer the question, which way, which way is the concave side of the graph oriented? Upwards or uh, downwards? So yeah, as you can see, our orientation for this graph is actually uh, downwards, right? So it's, it's uh, concave down. Why? Because the opening of the graph goes down. Okay, so this is concave down. What feature does the quadratic function have that neither the exponential function graph in problem one nor the power function graph in problem two has? So let's take a look again at our power function. This is our power function. So if you uh, take a good look at it and get the values of y for x less than or or for x less than zero, then it would be a reflection of these uh, values here. And if you take a look at our exponential function, it has an asymptote at this side of the, of our graph, so at the x-axis. But looking at the quadratic function, you could see that it opens downwards and it has a maximum value. And the maximum value occurs at this. Where does our maximum value occur? At this point, right? You could see. This is actually the vertex of the quadratic equation. And uh, that's where the symmetry of the, uh, the graph occurs. So. This is the symmetry, or the line of symmetry of our quadratic function. OK? So in, in quadratic functions, we have either a maximum point. In this case, we have a maximum point or a minimum point. But uh, in this case, we have a maximum point occurring at this uh, point. 15 and 
59.5 okay so we have answered this question and so we have answered all of the questions on this kind of problem for a quadratic function